it's really slow going on this next section because there are a lot of boulders. We're going over there. What a perfect day! It was really yeah, magical and I was so happy. This is probably the worst section. One of the last big milestones. This is hard work. Don't want uh, to pitch in tick hell again. Hi, my name is Ellie. I'm a long distance hiker and backpacker. With my rescue dog Otto, I embarked on my biggest adventure yet in spring of 2023, hiking the length of Britain from Scotland to Cornwall. Come along for days 113 and 114, where we hiked from St. Ives towards Pendine and onto Sandon Cove. Good morning! We just left the campsite. I got myself a coffee <laughs> and now we are walking back down into St. Ives to take a little walk around town. And that's up there, that's the campsite and we came all the way through the town and now we're walking back there and along the coast. Good morning! We just left St. Ives and I'm really excited for this section today because it's one of my favorites. It's really rough and remote. It's a bit more, not really technical, but it's really slow going on this next section because there are a lot of boulders that you have to go over. Luckily it's dry, so at least it won't be very slippery or muddy. So that's great because last year I hiked the section in the rain, which was a bit tough. It's not that long, I think it's about six miles, five or six miles to get to center. There's a, a cafe there and a pub, a very famous pub, the Tinner's Arms. I think it's going to be a great day. It's supposed to get very sunny in the afternoon and probably uh, we'll be able to see another beautiful sunset. So let's go! Look at those colors, they look so unreal. Such a light turquoise. Oh, this is so, so stunning. doing his magic again.
look at that oh it's so incredible We are not too far away from Seno and this is probably the worst section. Otto is the absolute star, as always. Okay. This is hard work. I already saw us sitting at the pub in center, but ooh, that last mile takes quite some time. This is center head. And look how beautiful the speech down there is. Ah. And now we're walking a little bit inland to center. The only question really is, do I go to the tea room to have a coffee, tea, cream tea, ice cream? Or do I go to the pub for some chips and lemonade? Ah, I think I have about 10 minutes to decide until I get there. Ah, probably to the pub, I think. Yeah, I think I need something savory. <laughs> We had a great lunch break at the Tinner's Arms in Center. I decided to go to the pub because I was really hungry and I had a great vegan sandwich there and some chips and lemonade and a coffee and yeah, we just sat there for almost two hours, I think. I have now a very heavy backpack because I filled up a lot of water for uh, tonight and for tomorrow morning because I think it's another maybe 10 miles even um, until I can fill up my water. I mean there's probably some streams like run down from farmland so yeah my filter doesn't filter pesticides or chemicals so yeah I'm trying to avoid those 
streams and just um, fill up from taps that I can find along the way. Now we are back on the coast path. I think we have another four miles, maybe some of it, a little bit of scrambling, but then it should um, be a little easier walking. And look at that. It's the perfect place actually to hit one of the last big milestones on this hike because we just crossed the point where we only have um, less than 100 kilometers left to hike. So we are officially in the double digits now, which is insane. Yeah, it's really, it's so crazy that we've hiked over, I think 1600 miles. I didn't uh, calculate the total distance for a few days, but probably a little over 1600 miles now. And now it's, yeah, only maybe 60, 65 miles and less than 100 kilometers, which is, it's so crazy and, and I'm so proud. both getting a bit tired now the perfect pitch for tonight right here it's really flat and there would have been an amazing sunset but luckily i realized before pitching the tent but there were a lot of ticks there probably because there's uh, cattle and also ponies that graze this area I had quite a few on me after sitting on the grass for half an hour. I don't want uh, to pitch in tick hell again. So yeah, um, I think I'm hiking for a little bit and see what it's like there. It was a bit of a tough day. It was quite a bit of elevation. I thought it would be more level. And then the scrambling, going over the boulders. And yeah, it was a bit slow going and it was very sunny. So yeah, a bit tough, but we've made it. I found a perfect spot. The ground is a bit rocky. It was a bit hard to get the packs in. There are only light winds tonight. So yeah, should be fine. And look at that i'm going to make dinner now and watch the perfect sunset was a bit windy and the tent was flapping a little bit because I uh, didn't pitch it very well yesterday because yeah, it was a bit on a slope and it was hard to pitch it low to the ground. It was just magical. I uh, looked out the tent in the middle of the night and there were so many stars and I even saw the uh, Milky Way and I saw that's the lighthouse Pendine. I saw the light of the lighthouse just like brushing over the tent um, every few seconds and lights from ships going by and yeah it was such a it was really yeah magical and I was 
so happy and I felt so so at peace there was no sound nothing just our tent Otto and I and the sea and the stars and it was incredible I'm already all packed up and we'll start hiking because today's uh, supposed to be a bit changeable with some heavy rain coming in possibly and even some thunderstorms so I want to get going while it's still dry I want to get to Senen Cove which is about 12 miles I think that's the plan so let's go okay Luckily, there are some stepping stones. Da 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 da! We made it! This is Pendine Lighthouse. The heart section is officially over now. Yes, we are walking to another uh, mining area. Um, this used to be a tin mine over there and there are still a lot of ruins and engine houses. That's so interesting how the coastline keeps changing. Apparently the largest preserved mining site in the UK and I was really surprised to read that it only closed in 1990 so a little over 30 years ago And there's another milestone, that's Cape Cornwall. This is such an incredible place. I don't know what it is, but it's maybe because of the fields up there and the walls and this, I don't know, or the, uh, the shape. I don't know, I just find it so interesting and honestly so much cooler than Land's End. We just left Cape Cornwall. I had my first coffee of the day at the little cafe in the car park there and I also had a vegan pasty and it was really lovely there were a couple of other hikers there and yeah just sat there for one and a half hours and now we're on our way to Sennen Cove and I'm going there and uh, I'm going to catch the bus back to St. Ives because I have to uh, get uh, to the hospital again to get the uh, wound checked. It's a bit annoying that I have to go back because it's a one-hour um, bus ride but yeah 
better safe than sorry and to risk an infection. So that's the plan. So I have about two hours to get to Sen Cove, which is I think quite a bit ambitious. It's five miles, but there are a couple of bits of yeah, like scrambling and boulders again. So probably a bit slow going, hopefully. That'll work out and I'm not too late for my appointment. So far we've been lucky today, but I think there's a bit of rain coming our way. <laughs> this is so unreal. I can already see it. that's the Sennen over there, but on the edge there, the headland, that's Land's End. I can't believe that we're so close. I'm not really emotional yet because I know it's not the finishing point for us, um, but still it's such a milestone. Crazy. And now it's raining. That's one thing I learned hiking the coast path. If it clears up in the distance, like in the direction where the rain or the wind is coming from, that means that the rain will very likely stop very soon and the sun is back out. Isn't that just so, so, so stunning? Look at that, we're going over there. We just made it to Sennen with basically seconds to spare because I can see the bus coming up. 